want to build a website but have no idea, in fact, probably been pulling your hair out trying to figure out a domain name, I've been there. I can totally relate, which is why I'm making this video. Um, my name is Zach and getting your online marketing business or blog or whatever your mission is online off of the ground is my mission. Okay. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to choose a winning domain name in just three easy steps. I'm going to scoot over here to the internet and the first web page you'll see is a site called Namecheap. This is actually a domain registration website I just recently started using. And so far, I like it. Before I was getting my domains with HostGator, who I also host with, but I stopped doing that for some privacy reasons. And I'll tell you about that a little later. But the first thing you'll want to do before we get into to creating a kick-ass domain name is first create an account. So feel free to use Namecheap. The domain names are 10, 10 bucks, 10, 11 bucks, something like that. So they're, they're not um, unaffordable, but you could just type in Google uh, cheap domain names and you'll get a whole slew of domain purchasing websites. So once you're comfortable wherever you're at and you're logged in and you're ready to go, what you'll want to do is find the search bar. Okay, every single um, domain website out there has the search bar. And this is where we're going to do a little bit of research to see what domain name is going to be right for you. Now, I'm going to assume something since you're actually watching this video. I'm going to assume that you're not interested right now, at least, in branding your own personal name. Uh, because if you were, you would have already gotten the domain name and you wouldn't have had to watch or click on this website or click on this video rather. So with that assumption, what we're going to do is we're going to explore some other avenues to help you get a killer domain name. Okay. Um, first thing I want you to think about is why are you creating the website in the first place? Who are you trying to serve? What is your mission? What is your purpose? What's your aim? What's your target? Okay. Um, what avenues are you going to be um, providing value, providing content? And this could be a online business, let's say an online shopping business. You could be an online affiliate marketer. You could be a blogger. You could actually have a service-based business in the real world. Um, think about that. Think about how you're trying to service your uh, quote unquote customer. And then with that, what we want to do is just start playing around with your niche, your mission um, within the username. So for instance, let me give you some, some examples to help your mind kind of get working. Here we are at Mindful Marketing Group. Now this is a company that I'm building right now this is actually a service-based business in the real world, but will have a heavy internet component. Um, you might be wondering, mindful marketing group. I get the marketing group, but why mindful? Okay. And for that, I'm going to click over here to my pictures for a second and go to the design I just had made for the mindful marketing group. Okay. If I can find it, here it is. This will give you an insight as to what mindful actually means. And then also um, the idea of making your username, your domain name um, convey what you actually do. So mindful marketing group underneath, you'll see health, wellness, fitness, and cannabis. Mindful is meant to imply um, an industry that is conscious an industry that is open-minded, okay? Um, and typically health, wellness, fitness, the cannabis industry, I live in Colorado, so that's clearly a legal industry. These are mindful industries. Now, it doesn't say that in the actual URL because to put, you know, health and wellness and fitness and cannabis marketing group is just way too long of a URL, okay? but it still implies what I do. Marketing group. Mindful could be a few things. 
okay? But at least marketing group implies it conveys what I actually do. Another website that I have that is I'm going to be an umbrella under the mindful marketing group is growyourcannabiscustomers.com. This one clearly implies what the company does, it helps you grow your cannabis customers. Okay, this is specifically targeted towards dispensary owners. And in the name, it implies it conveys exactly what I do. And the reason why we want to do that is because in today's day and age, there's so many things vying for our attention, our customers' attention, our readers' attention, that the quicker we can convey our point, our message, our intention, the better, okay? And when we can choose a domain name, when you can choose a domain name that quickly implies what you do, not only does it help in terms of SEO, when you're doing, um, uh, when someone's doing a Google search, that kind of thing. But it just helps the customer, your reader, better understand you um, quickly um, and more efficiently, which is gold in a society where attention span is very, 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 very low. Um, three seconds <laughs> um, with the latest research says that you get three seconds to capture someone's attention. So we're about five minutes in to this, actually probably more like seven. So hopefully I still have your attention. But back to this, so the search domain, let's play around for a minute. Let's say that you have a service-based business in the real world and you clean carpet. What you wanna do now is you wanna to get to um, blogging and writing for the carpet cleaning industry. You could say something like carpetcleaningblog.com. Um, I would recommend putting your name in there. Let's say your name is John. So let's go to, you know, John, John's carpet cleaning. If I can spell carpet cleaning, if I can spell <laughs> blog.com. Actually, we're going to take the dot com out and we're just going to hit search. And the reason why I took the dot com out is because it's going to give us a whole list of dot things. All right. You'll see, I actually already put. Um, John's carpet blog in my in my video cart here um, or my view cart. Uh, so here we go. John's carpet cleaning blog.com. You'll see dot net dot org. And then you'll see a bunch of exotic dot other things dot online dot design dot rocks. That is a, that's actually kind of a kick ass domain name, but it is just not ideal with the dot rocks. And the reason why is because these new URLs haven't quite caught on. So most people don't take them as seriously. I know I'm not as liable or likely to click on something like that. Um, and then I think it also actually impacts your SEO. When we can stick to some of the, tr you know, the old school .com, .net, .org websites, the better off we'll be. Now, if you're a disciple of Ty Lopez, he'll recommend getting um, the .com, the .net, and the .org. I honestly think that's kind of overkill unless you're um, doing things on a large scale, which chances are, if you're watching this video, you're probably just getting up and going. So .com, .net, .org, either one of them will work. If .com is available, I would go with .com. Um, once you're comfortable with something, once you have a domain name that is niche specific, it conveys what you do in a few words and it's available only thing left to do is to purchase. Now you'll see that the .com on at least names, Namecheap is about 11 bucks a year. That's pretty affordable. Um, once you have your domain name bought, that's when you'll want to focus on hosting. I'm only gonna spend a minute on hosting because this is a video in itself, but you can get hosting through Namecheap um, or you can get hosting through a third party provider and then manage your username or your, your domain name through here by linking the DNS numbers or the DNS servers. Okay. I use HostGator. So from HostGator, I took the DSN server information and then I just copied it right in here, as you can see. Okay. Um, more to come. If you like this video, if you got value, subscribe down below and we'll definitely talk soon.